Our scripture lesson comes from John's Gospel, chapter 15, beginning with verse 12. Listen to Jesus as he's talking to his disciples. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I'd like to draw your attention to the screens for a moment to uh, watch a little video clip. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious God, how often have we felt like Humpty Dumpty sitting on that wall and then falling and breaking into a million pieces? This day we'd ask that you would mend our heart, that you would remind us that we always have a friend, and that we are no longer called just servants from Jesus. Rather, we're at a different level. What a friend we have in Jesus. Lord, may these words be acceptable to you. And may they speak words of truth and hope and life for us all. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Oh, how I wanted to sing that song to you. But that's why I did the video clip. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Simple little children's nursery rhyme, most likely published around 1810. Children are so important to God and so important to us in our faith. That's kind of why I wanted to use that children's rhyme to get us thinking this morning about our message about friends. The prophet Isaiah puts it this way in regards to speaking about children. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. Children, so innocent, so forgiving, so trusting. Kids will give their friends another chance, even when they don't deserve it. Children know how to make friends. They have friends. They know what a relationship is all about when it comes to being with another person. And if we would allow it, children will and can lead us adults into ways that are pleasing for the Lord. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. 
all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. For a moment, imagine you are Humpty Dumpty. You're sitting on that wall. You take a fall. And you're just there at the bottom of that wall in a million little pieces, broken and hurting and shattered. Who's going to come and put you back together? Hopefully you'll have a friend that would stop at that wall and help, or maybe a Savior will come and gather up the pieces and put us together. Recently in the news, we've heard about tennis players losing their cool and berating and just screaming at the officials. These players fell off the wall, and they broke into several pieces. Oh, 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 how they needed a friend to come to them on that tennis court and to just try to calm them down for a moment. We've read about Kanye West taking the microphone from Taylor Swift as she was receiving an award and right there in the middle of her acceptance speech. And West just let loose that another singer deserved to win that award rather than Taylor Swift. Oh my, how Kanye needed some.